It was the day before Christmas, and because nobody should have to stay in Dunedin for the big occasion, the Harrises embarked on the mammoth 90-minute journey to Naseby, a sleepy town with a permanent population of 100 residents and New Zealand's only ice luge track, best enjoyed in the winter, I might add. Other main attractions include a hotel, dairy, cafe, museum, a watchmaker and a boot manufacturer, and a forest. Our luxurious Christmas venue of choice was a 5 metre square cabin in the Naseby camping ground with two bunk beds for four people and one dog. It's a very relaxed pace of life in Naseby and that's the charm of it. As the town slogan says, it's 2,000 feet above worry level so please settle in and enjoy the recount of a carefree Christmas done in the Harris family way. We brought our coffee machine to the camping ground. Sometimes you've got to have your home comforts. Quite smart if you ask me. Here's a tour of my glamorous coffee station. Living the high life. There you go, sir. So after breakfast, it was time for the presents. Just for context, we have a unique system where we each buy five gifts under five different categories and pull a name out of the hat to determine who we are buying each gift for. So everyone received five gifts across the categories of funny slash bad taste, adventurous, want slash need, in the kitchen and book. I don't know, but I like it. It's fun. <laughs> all the bookshops they don't have any of the interesting is that rubbish? wow nice. that's, that's okay <laughs> 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 this is thank you it's got food in it oh, no it's just coffee you could put porridge and stuff in it though Stella come on I do like a good sport they're just completely separate thank you oh oh that's Ooh. handy the steamy green, is it yeah. steamy? Steam. I don't know. Oh, that is cool. Thank you very much. Quite, yeah. That's okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I like it with the bergs. I think it matches, doesn't it? It does match. It matches the carpet. <laughs> Christmas breakfast. Tick. Presents. Tick. Now we're out for a leisurely family stroll. About 
11 in the morning I think, something like that. Not really much to report from our day so far. Got the crew, actually got a rest day off the bike today. Maybe you'll see me on my bike, maybe you won't. Apart from that, we'll just see what the day brings. Boris Lamb, yeah. I am feeling a little bit worse for wear though because we're staying at the camping ground and there's a lot of coming and going from other campers outside our tiny wee cabin and Stella was on guard the entire night and had to growl, <laughs> had to growl every single time there was a slight noise outside our cabin in true guard dog spirit. So this morning at 5.50, I was up. I sense that we're near Nipple Hill. <laughs> oh Stella, that looks so appetizing. It's coming out quite warm today, isn't it? It's nice to get some warmth on the skin. Don't get that in Dunedin. Not very often. It's quite clinical, isn't it? Books and magazines. Looking straight against the wall. It's a tribrary. A tribrary. What a does tri that mean? But you try it. Oh! You can just come in and try it. I get it. I was wondering why it wasn't spelled with a Y, but I guess it's a nod to the library, isn't it? So it's got, it a, is. it's got an I. You thought it was a place to come in and get some tri equipment. Do a, do a bit of I swimming. was thinking tri equipment. Maybe there. a pool boy. Oh, I mean, he could game to play. Tetris! Try something from the tribery. Speak out. I don't actually think you need. No, I don't need this game. You don't. Do you want to get something from here and then we can go to the park and we can play with it? Stay up, sit down. Can we? Can we go to the park? Stay up, sit. I'm ready. Frisbee it is. Stella would like to learn how to play. They have bloody big trees in those, but don't they? Ginormous. I don't think I've been on a trampoline in a good five years. Don't double bounce me, please. I'm a bit anxious. Do a trick, bro, do a trick. Do you have any more? I can do a tennis serve. <laughs> Come on. One more. <laughs> Time for another important part of Christmas Day. The lunch. And boy, do we have a lot of food going on. Not really. It's only snacks. Yeah, true, true. Got plenty more where this came from anyway. Actually, like, there's not anything. <laughs> there's stuff all. If you're looking, it's not cooking. And seaweed kaikoura range is a call. Thank and you. It's time for the afternoon activities now. Rummy cup. This is our garden shed. No, we're not playing rummy cup this afternoon. We are going for bike rides. Got the preparation station over here. I really like this little hut for the bikes. Shelter. I'm feeling a bit worse for wear right now because I've had three days of quite solid training in combination with not getting much sleep last night because of the cabin and because of Stella barking at every tiny noise outside. I'm not feeling the greatest so we're just going for a fun ride today. Head up the trails, practice some skills, keep the watts low but the tension high. There seem to be some quite good trails in the Naseby Forest where we are. Hopefully some that are at a good level for the gravel bike. Not too challenging that I'll fall off and break a collarbone, but hopefully just enough spice to keep me on my toes. Been dropped already. Oh.
Whoa! Intermediate bit was coming, and I think that was it. Whoa! Oh, come on! Actually, I hate tree roots. We just conquered grade three plus, undaunted. Conquered. How many times have we stopped? Maybe four. <laughs> Town. We continue on the Happy Highway. <laughs> yeah, okay. Or we go to Canvas Town. Nah, Happy Highway. Happy Highway. Do you want to take the lead again? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go find some more tracks. We're not done just yet. Yeah, that's a bit of us. Intermediate grade three. Okay, let's commit. That hill looks quite steep. Let's just walk. Sometimes it's nice to hike a bike. Oh, yeah. We love a pedal with a view. Yeah! Catch me if you can! Advanced grade four, advanced grade four. Let's just do it. Yeah, we didn't look very advanced, does it? We no. are. Oh, no sign of Louis coming out the end of that trail. Oh no, here he is. We've had good fun around here this afternoon. Some sneaky little trails to get the skills up, get the heart rate up, but not pushing too many watts. It's good to get some confidence with the bike handling, activate the muscles without putting too much load through. Just get a bit more agile when it comes to maneuverability of the gravel bike. Feel like I'm ready to hit some grade five expert trails now. All good? Did you get lost in Canvas Town? I kind of did, you know. <laughs> now it's time for the finale of our single trail trip, the ominously named Collarbone Alley which takes us straight back into the camping ground. Hopefully not to an ambulance. Grade two. Oh, no. Let's go. We're back. Did you miss us? Oh yeah, we did. Huh? Here we have a post ride Christmas beverage. I'm sure most people would go for a coffee on late Christmas afternoon. Christening my new cup. Lovely new cup given to me by Louie. 
made using sand from the shore of Lake Wakatipu. So I'm quite liking this one. Thank you very much, Louis. Also, not complete without a gingerbread pan. You want it, don't you, Stella? In case you were wondering what our accommodation was like, let me give you a tour of our truly glamorous cabin. This is my sleeping quarters down here, got the sleeping bag. These are my two bags and I am right by one of the food supplies. We also brought our own fridge and then over here we have some more food. We've got some lovely carpet too. One bunk bed here, one bunk bed here. Louis sleeping there, mum and dad are sleeping here. So if your family isn't very close it's probably not your cup of tea but we get on quite well so this suits us perfectly fine. One of the main reasons that we are staying in this little cabin at the camping ground is because it's very hard to find accommodation with Stella as well and Stella can't miss out on Christmas, she's family after all but also the kennels were fully booked so that's why she's come along too and why we're stuck in a little dirty cabin because <laughs> it's the only thing that will also take the dog. Looking cute guys! Oh, matchy yeah. matchy! The hair's great. Yeah the hair's nice as well. The hair's lovely. You're looking right at home in this little pigsty. Yeah. We do pigsties. Yeah. Oh. This is what 27 kilometers of running in a day looks like. Oh! She's alive! What have you got? <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too, my friend. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> she is quite sharp, isn't she? Christmas dinner is down the hatch. Now we're just heading out on a digestion walk. Gotta make some room for dessert. I'll have you know that I am chief of operations when it comes to both the salads and the dessert. So the dessert is my puppy, we're having cheesecake and cobbler, spoiler alert. Rachel will find this montage really embarrassing but I'm just adding it in anyway. We were then off in search of a location for our annual compulsory family picture, a 24 year strong tradition now, which was taken on her GoPro this year because why not? Here is some behind the scenes footage of the photo shoot, in the rain I might add. Is it just video? Yeah, it's just video. Oh, so we don't have to set that up. Three, two, one. Bananas. Let's go look at the camera though. <laughs> <laughs> we're just making sure we actually get a shot where we're all looking at the camera. Okay, all looking. Sorry. Okay, three, two, one, cheese. Oh. <laughs> oh, this looks great. If I do say so myself. Well, there we have it. Christmas 2022 is a wrap. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if indeed you did, I would be honoured to receive a thumbs up and also if you haven't already, give that subscribe button a little nudge. I'd love to grow my channel and your interaction would certainly help with that. But that's all for now folks, so I'll catch you whenever there's a next time. Hasta luego.